My favorite site in the Butterworth Center in Dear Wyman House is actually a bathroom. We have an art deco bathroom that Mrs. Butterworth had installed as one of the last renovations at the Butterworth Center and it is completely mirrored, it is gorgeous and a little intimidating as a bathroom. Oh my gosh, there's so many amazing trucks. I don't know that I could pick just one, but there are like I said, 1903, there is a 1911 Walker all electric truck. So a hundred years old and it was all electric. And that's probably one of my favorites. And there's also a 1930 Ford snowmobile truck that has skis on the front of it. We've even played with it in the snow a little bit. It's kind of fun. There are so many. I have to say, I love the traveling exhibits and the new rotating exhibits that come through. So we have a wonderful exhibit up right now called Build, Create, Innovate um, that is all about uh, kind of inspiration and design, creativity and challenge using really simple building materials um, to build towers and structures and animals and all different things. So it's really something that's a blast for the whole family. On the second floor right near the boardroom, there is a, a separate little area in a corner called the Early History Room. And it's kind of dedicated to Phoebe Sudlow, who was the first superintendent, um, first woman superintendent in the United States that she was here in Davenport Schools. And it's kind of got all an old desk in there and old maps in there and it's just kind of set up like an old area of which I think is unique. That's, that's tricky. I mean, we do have over 45 changing exhibitions each year. So, uh, so sometimes we get attached to one exhibit and then it goes away and then we're sad and then the next one comes and we're all, we're very excited. Um, our permanent collection is of course um, dynamic and engaging, but um, in terms of changing exhibitions right now, we have a wonderful exhibition by John, Le uh, that features the work rather of John Leslie Breck. And he is the first, or is credited rather, as being the first painter to bring Impressionism to America. And um, he's not well known, um, but his work is phenomenal. And he was very well known um, back, in, back in the early, late 19th and early 20th century.